guys, Drew here, back with another video, and now I'm, today I'm going to do a double video, so, um, when I'm done doing, like, making, like, the one side of this video, and then I'll make the other side of this video, you probably know what I'm talking about, but, um, I'm sorry that, uh, I wasn't able to post, uh, the other three videos, I missed three videos, two of the Montreal games, and one of the Browse games, that was Saturday night's Growlers game, they won 6-1, to one. I'm not going to do my review on that now, but, uh, and the Canadians too, they, um, there are two games they lost, obviously, and the thing over here, we'll be talking about the Canadians, so let's get on with the Growlers game, um, they went in overtime, they went 4-3, I was at that game, that was Sunday, 2 o'clock Newfoundland time, the goal is that going for the Growlers is Zach O'Brien, he scored his 13th on the season, then Darian Plouffe scored that it's his 3rd, then Owens and Tazo scored that it's his 16th. And then O'Brien scored to make it his 14th as he wins it in overtime. Um, today's February 14th, so it's Valentine's Day. Um, last, not last year, two years ago today, the Growlers made the biggest winning streak in ECHL history for most wins in a row at their home arena with 19, I believe. They're one above the normal um record but um so the round now are 21 12 and 3 that is not their first ot win of the season actually it might have been their first no it is not jeremy mckenna got the ot win in reading um then they won the shootout in cbs um newfoundland when um out in cbs when i w i went to those games obviously, but, um, they won, um, in the shootout in there, and now they're winning here, and they're winning big time in overtime, so that's gonna be it for this Growlers review, um, they win 4-3, so the Growlers are now, I think they're tied with the main Mariners, um, in the record of points, um, so hopefully the Growlers can go over me and soon they have a long time till they play another game. So that's going to be it for the video, guys. If you guys don't want to see the Habs news, you can just turn off the video. I would be fine with that. So let's get on to the Habs news. Wow, guys. The Montreal Canadiens made their first official big trade of the season. The Calgary Flames have acquired... Tyler Toffoli from the Montreal Canadiens. The Canadiens receive forward Tyler Pitlick, we'll talk about him later, prospect Emil Heineman, and a first round pick uh, with also a fourth in return for Toffoli. The first round pick involves a deal is top 10 projected in 2022. If the pick falls within the top 10, then Montreal will receive a 2023 first rounder instead of, um, instead of a 2022. So, uh, fully signed a contract for the 2023-24 season and with a cap hit of four decimal 25 mil. He is nine goals and 26 points in 37 games this season. is second in the Canadians in scoring as he joined this team as a free agent in 2020. 29-year-old right winger scored 28 goals and posted 44 points in 52 games last season. Scored 5 goals and 14 points in 22 games as the Canadians reached the Stanley Cup Final. So, they have made a pretty decent trade, guys. I don't mind it. Not much. But, um, so yeah, uh, so Montreal in return... It's a conditional for first, um, so if, if the Flames, I believe, I think if they get in the top, if the top 10 is protected, it turns into a 2023. 20, so, um, for Toffoli, though, a first round pick is a bit much, I find. Also, with Tyler Pitlick. Now, let's get on to Tyler Pitlick. Wow, guys. So, the Montreal Canadiens this offseason, they signed Rhett Pitlick. Um, out of college. He's still playing college this year. So, uh, he is currently in college. He might play in Montreal soon. Then, also, 
Ren Pitlick got claimed off waivers by the Montreal Canadiens, and he um, has done pretty much pretty well uh, for uh, Montreal. So, um, and now Tyler Pitlick. He never did much for Calgary. He got taken by Seattle in the expansion draft. He was drafted by the Edmonton Oilers, I believe. He played for Philadelphia in the bubble when they beat Montreal. Um, that's probably um, bit Tyler Pitlick's biggest memory um, against Montreal. And then they got, um, so now they got three Pitlick people. And they are all brothers. <laughs> So this is gonna be like the first time ever I'm seeing like a three peep three, um, uh, uh, all three siblings in a lineup. There was a time where um, what's the name? There was two Stahl brothers. It was Jordan and um Eric, and then there was another guy. I forget his name. You guys can let me know, but um, he also played in the lineup. He never did much for the Stahl brothers, though. He only played three games in the NHL, I believe. And then we got Emil Heineman. Heineman. I'm not sure how to pronounce his name, but you guys can let me know if you um know how to pronounce it. Pretty decent uh, prospect. Plays for Lexens HF over in the Swedish Hockey League. He might do something for Montreal. He might play for them maybe at the end of the season, maybe like the last game of the season. Or he'll just stay with Lexins because they're a pretty good team. So, what do you guys think of the trade? They also acquired a fifth round pick. Uh, it says here on Trade Center. Um, it could. They said it was a fourth. It could be a fifth. I'm not really sure right now. But, um, so, yeah, Montreal makes a trade if you guys want to know. Your thoughts about the trade, you can let me know on Facebook or TikTok. I will be making a TikTok video after this. So, hopefully this first round pick. I'm hoping it will be a 2023 because there's a chance that Calgary might be a bad team next year. And Montreal might have a chance at Matt V. Nijkov or Connor Bedard. I swear, if Montreal gets Connor Bedard, I'm going to go nuts. Absolutely nuts. <laughs> Montreal with, with Connor Bernard. Another trade Montreal made yesterday. They traded Andrew Hammond um to for Brand to Andrew Hammond to Montreal for Brandon Baddock. That went over to Minnesota. And Brandon Baddock's not gonna do much for Minnesota. Andrew Hammond might do something because he's a goaltender and Montreal has goaltender issues. He might play um soon, I'm not sure. Hopefully he can do something, but the Tyler Toffoli trade. It's hard to see Toffoli goal. He was such a go. He was such a nice guy. Like he looks such like a nice guy. And I'm really so I just wanna say thank you, Tyler Toffoli, for all you've done for Montreal. You've done a great job uh scoring goals like last season and this season as well, scoring points as well. I kind of wish it could have been someone else either than Toffoli, though, because he's a really good player. Um. So, yeah, guys, if you guys like this trade, you can like this video. You can like it if you even like the, the Growler review back there. Um. So, uh, yeah, if that's going for the show, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, you can like this video. You can subscribe if you really liked it. You can follow me on TikTok. My username is Drew underscore 311. When you can follow me on Facebook, my name's Drew Felsom. I will definitely be reporting that news. So, yeah, I will talk to you all again soon. There might be a snow day tomorrow. There might have been a snow day today. It would have been pretty good if there was. But um, I'll try to get a video for you guys tomorrow if there is. I will talk to you all again soon.